Hi, I'm Caleb Giddings, and welcome to the roast of the shooting sports. Over the next five weeks, we're going to take you through the five major shooting sports, USPSA, IEPA, Steel Challenge, Free Gun, and the new kid on the block that seems to be picking up all the steam, the tactical games. And in these next five episodes, we are taking no prisoners. We are going to make fun of these sports. We are going to have a great time with this. So buckle up and enjoy the ride on the roast of the shooting sports. Tonight, we start with the United States Practical Shooting Association. Obviously, we want to keep things classy around here while we discuss USPSA, the United States Practical Shooting Association, which is the best shooting sport on the planet. How do we know it's the best shooting sport on the planet? Ask anyone who shoots it and they'll tell you over and over and over and over again. It's insufferable. I mean, USPSA is great. It's kind of like what would happen if you took all of the people who took their bowling leagues too seriously and gave them guns. Advocates of USPSA will tell you one of the reasons why it's so great is because it's the only sport where amateurs and professionals compete side by side, which one, isn't true, and two, you can't tell which ones the amateurs and the pros are just by looking at them because the amateurs like to play dress up as the pros. The difference is the pros got paid to wear their fancy multicolored jerseys and the amateurs bought them on the internet for like $80 so they could look like the people who are actually good at the shooting sport. USPSA shooters like to describe USPSA as being like Formula One with guns, which definitely isn't true because everyone in Formula One is rich, and I've been to a USPSA match. The USPSA classification system is a great way to break shooters down by skill level. As an A-class shooter, what that means is I'm kind of okay at shooting, and I've successfully wasted countless hours of my life to get there. You can get all the way up to the Grand Master level, which once you get there, you realize you will have wasted most of your life acquiring skills that are completely useless in a practical context, and you've now gotten really good at a game that no one cares about, but you're still not going to win because the people that win actually treat this like they're professional athletes. The most popular division in USPSA right now is pistol caliber carbine because apparently all the people who were mad that they couldn't beat the professional shooters decided that the only way to do that was to cheat and get a rifle. Someone once said to me that USPSA is the most fun that you can have with your pants on and I can just assume that that dude has never like touched a girl. The best thing about USPSA is you can spend countless hours and countless amount of time practicing, loading your own ammo, tons of money traveling to matches, staying in hotels, taking training classes, becoming a GM, getting really good, and then you still lose to Ben Steger. You know the phrase, an armed society is a polite society? Whoever said that had never been in any of the USPSA Facebook groups. In the end, you know what the best thing about USPSA is? The sport is so welcome and accepting that anyone can participate. You know what the worst thing about USPSA is? The sport is so welcome and accepting that anyone can participate. I'm Caleb Giddings. I hope you like the jokes. Thanks for watching.